the study aims to document the problems associated with inappropriate e-waste recycling practices, including where e-waste is generated, where it is recycled, the range of adverse environmental exposures, the range of adverse health consequences, and the policy frameworks that are intended to protect vulnerable populations. The study finds that the amount of e-waste being generated is increasing rapidly and is compounded by illegal exportation and inappropriate donation of electronic equipment from developed to developing countries. As little as 25% of e-waste is recycled in formal recycling centers with adequate worker protection, and the health consequences of both direct exposures during recycling and indirect exposures through environmental contamination are potentially severe but poorly studied. The study concludes that improving occupational conditions for all e-waste workers and striving for the eradication of child labor is non-negotiable. This article was authored by Devin N. Perkins, Marie Noel Brundris, Tapua Enxil, and others. We are article.tv, links in the description below.